On today's episode of In The Know, we'll hear more about the new user interface testing in QuickBooks Online so that you know the what, why, when, and how. To tell us more, let me welcome my friend and colleague, Kim Amspaugh, who leads corporate communications for accountants at Intuit. Kim, welcome. Thanks for having me, Jacqueline. Well, Kim, as we know, a few weeks ago, we sent an email to our community of pro advisors, letting them know about this new user interface testing in QuickBooks Online. So can you tell me a little bit more about what it is that we're testing? Absolutely. So what we're striving to do is bring together the power of the QuickBooks and MailChimp products into one integrated platform. So to that end, we're just starting to test what a combined user interface and experience could look like when a small business logs in to their integrated combined QuickBooks and MailChimp account. I'll quickly add that we actually shared this vision of bringing the power of QuickBooks and MailChimp together back in October at Intuit Connect. So we're just starting the process of getting customer feedback on what this potential experience could look like. Kim, I love that you brought up Intuit Connect. I was fortunate enough to be in the audience when Dave Talek shared his product vision and talked about the why behind this new user interface. Could you share with our audience, what are those pain points that small businesses face that really led to the why? Sure. So right now, if a small business has a QuickBooks and MailChimp account, they have to log into those accounts separately. So what we're looking at is how can we provide one place where a business can log in once and see a home screen that brings together their QuickBooks and MailChimp account and shows how that data integrates seamlessly so they can take immediate action. Okay, so building on that, what is it that, Intuit is looking to learn during this testing phase? So right now, what we're looking to learn is our customers understanding the layout of the user interface. Do they know where to go? Do they understand what they need to do to take certain actions within QuickBooks and MailChimp? So speaking of our customers, I know this is something our pro advisors will be particularly interested in. Who are we testing this new user interface with? So the test is open to brand new QuickBooks online customers. And what I mean by that is that these are customers who don't have an existing QuickBooks account. And then in addition to that, these are new QuickBooks customers who are not connected to an accounting professional. And when I say that, I mean a pro advisor an accountant, or a bookkeeper. That's really important. So these are small businesses who are new to QuickBooks. And do they opt into the experience, Kim? Yes. Qualifying businesses must opt into the test in order to participate. Okay. So how does this new user interface testing affect our pro advisor partners, if at all? So chances are this test won't impact most pro advisors because as I just mentioned, we're only inviting customers that are not only new to QuickBooks, but who also are not attached to an accountant or pro advisor. But that being said, a business participating in the test currently may eventually attach themselves to a pro advisor. And so in that instance, a pro advisor who would log in to a newly attached client may see the new user interface through QBOA, QuickBooks Online Accountant. Now, the only thing that I'd add here is that the reason we emailed pro advisors a few weeks ago is because we know this is a busy time of year and we know that workflows for accountants are extremely important. And so we didn't want pro advisors to be surprised and not understand what's going on, especially at this time of year, should they get attached 
to a QuickBooks customer that is participating in the test. Now, I'll just add that should an accountant get attached to a customer participating in the test, an accountant can actually log that customer out on their behalf. Okay, so just to make sure to play that back, a pro advisor can opt out their client if they start working with a client who has a new user interface. Is that correct? That is correct. Kim, thank you so much for giving the voiceover and context to the new user interface testing. Is there anything else that you might care to share with the ProAdvisor community? Yeah, a couple of things. One thing, just to provide a little bit more detail on how a pro advisor maybe would be able to opt out their client when they go and access their client's books. What they'll do is they'll see the gear icon at the top of the page and they'll click on that gear icon. A window will pop up and at the bottom of that window, there'll be a prompt that says leave early access program. A pro advisor can simply click on that prompt and the business will leave the test. And then when that happens, QuickBooks will revert back to its standard user interface. So that's really important. I wanted to walk through that so folks understand um, and see what that experience looks like. And then for just the last little bit um, that I would just wanna add, I'll say that our vision of bringing QuickBooks and MailChimp together includes both the small business and pro advisor communities. So as I said, we are just starting off on this journey and we want and need pro advisor feedback as well. So as we further test this user interface, not only are we getting small businesses feedback, but we'll be reaching out to the accounting community too and asking for folks to participate in a test. That's amazing. And on the In the Know program, we are committed to keeping you in the know. So as we listen and learn to the community, you can always tune into this program for news updates. That way you can follow along with how the product's evolving. Well, Kim, thank you so much for being on the show. It's such a joy to have you here. And I have a feeling it may be the first time, but not the last time we're seeing you. I loved being here and happy to come back to share more details as we progress. Thanks, Kim. And thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.